Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back again. On August 25th, 2023, I have published one video on the field Kinak. How many types of values are there and what does it mean for each and every field values. That day we discussed about the Kinak field value that is M. That means inactive due to manual entry. In today's video, we will discuss about this value only, how it will be updated, in which program this will be called to get updated. Now let's get started. Moreover, I will provide you the link for that video in the description. You can go through that first, then you can watch this video later. In transaction v06, we have an uh, option to update the manual entries. The field is KMANU. The database table is T685A. Here we have five options that is uh, no limitations. The T means blank, A means free, B means automatic entry has priority, C means manual entry has priority, D means not possible to process manually. And these values are applicable to only that certain condition types only. It's not a cross condition. And if you see here, the options B and D straight away saying that with, with these options, manual entry is not possible at all. And coming to blank and A. With help of blank and A, is it very much possible to do the manual entry addition? However, as per SAP standard program design, there is no logic written or programmed on these two fields, blank and A. Therefore, we have only one option left, that is C. Based on this value C only, the Kinak value will be updated as M. This validation will happen in the form XKOMV, AU, in the include LV61A, A56. So in this include, first this form will be called, at the end of this form, this pricing for one more perform is called, that is XKOMV B button. In this form only, the pricing calculation takes place. This form situated in the Another include that is LV61 WA55. And this validation on that Kinak value M will happen before the customizing condition exclusion group concepts. In present, we have a concept called condition exclusion groups. That code will be called after this validation. If an exclusion condition has occurred in the form, a second value assignment of the price result is carried out in this pricing form to upgrade the pricing result based on the exclusion made. However, in this valuation run, the conditions that are excluded due to the K-Manu settings are no longer affected and are therefore no longer re-evaluated. Okay, now let's understand what does this statement with an example if see uh, for example let's take a condition type that is the base space zp r1 for this we have maintained the manual entry as c and in the order we have added one manual condition type zp r1 added uh, initially it was determined as an uh, automatic condition records through condition records later we have added as a manual condition manual condition type once we add it as manually, then the automatically determined one become inactive. The reason will become M. Now this time, the Kinak will contains M. Again, so one time we have added that ZPR1 manually. Again, for the second time also, if we try to add the ZPR1 manually means, then this time what will happen is that, that the system will try to inactivate the first manually added ZPR1 as Kinak value as Y because in an item we can have only one base price active 